हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई रिव्यू ऑफ वर्ल्ड ऑफ विष्णु बाय अश्विन सांगी आई केम अक्रॉस दिस बुक ओनली रिसेंटली एंड वेन आई डिड आई वॉज पिटी सरप्राइज बिकॉज द बुक वॉज आउट फॉर ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स मंथ एंड आई हैड नो क्लू दैट इट एग्जिस्टेड एंड ऑनेस्टली आई डोंट नो वाई दिस हैपन मे बी द लैक ऑफ एडवर्टाइजिंग वॉज द केस बिकॉज वेन एवर देर इज अ बिग बुक रिलीज अ लॉट ऑफ मनी इज पुट इन टू द एडवर्टाइजिंग एंड आई डोंट रिमेंबर एनी प्रमोशंस ऑफ दिस बुक The book has about 1200 ratings on Goodreads and for the book that came from Ashwin Sanghi the number is very less. This book definitely deserves to be read by a lot more. The Vault of Vishnu is the sixth book in the Bharat series of Ashwin Sanghi. Those of you who are not familiar with his writing style, let me tell you his writing style is unique. What he does is he narrates two stories parallelly of which one of the stories is generally set in the modern times and the other is about the events from ancient times and these two stories in the end converge to reveal a big suspense as the name bharat series suggests the ancient stories are the ones which mainly concern india and the indian subcontinent and its past so continuing his style of writing in this novel too ashwin sanghi tells us two stories one of which is set in the modern world where india and china are having conflicts on the border and during a violent yet swift attack from the chinese indian side observes some strange and almost superhuman behavior of the soldiers of the chinese army baffled and worried by this discovery indian intelligence gets on the task of finding out what exactly is up with the chinese troops in the other story that is told parallelly we follow the journey of a buddhist monk in china who embarks on a journey to india the land of buddha his mission unknown even to himself gets clear as he gets further along his journey now these two stories may seem like they are far away from each other and share no similarities whatsoever but in the end as it happens in almost all of ashwin's stories they blend together and form a perfectly logical story now when you will first start reading the book the very first thing that you will notice is research the amount of research that the author does for his books is just amazing i mean research in so many fields from international politics regional politics geography of countries history science technology and even video games and this research yields overwhelming amount of information but let me tell you the information and the research is accurate now i don't think that you would really have the time and patience to cross check each and every one of this but i did check quite a few and found them to be exact ashwin also provides a list of every single reference that he has used in the research at the end of his book so if you are at all interested you can go and check that out the next thing that i want to talk about is his writing the author uses a decent amount of vocab in his books and avoiding the reuse of words is important in my opinion books tend to get monotonous if limited vocab is used and that spoils the reader's experience this is where many indian authors lack in my opinion i did some analysis regarding this and this is what i found at about 100000 words this book has about 12000 unique words that's almost 12% of the total words and i think that's decent now to give you a more clear idea i did a comparison of this book and one of the famous books in india the oath of five putras by amish tripathi it has about 150000 words and 11000 unique words that's about 7.3 percentage of the total words so i guess you got the idea what i'm trying to tell you now honestly this is really a personal choice about the writing style but i thought it would be interesting to mention it here the next thing that i want to talk about is the character development Ashwin does a pretty decent job in developing the characters. We are given a peek in the history of all the major characters and that's always good. It helps us to understand better why a particular character makes a particular choice. I have seen many reviews on Goodreads complaining that all the characters of the story, however insignificant, get a background detail. Now, in my opinion, this is really a plus point of the book, not a negative. I always love to know more about the characters of a story. It really shows how well the author has the story in his mind. If you have ever read Stephen King, you'll know what I'm talking about. 
even the smallest and the most insignificant character should be given a bit time overdoing it will ruin the book of course but i never felt that it was the case here now moving forward coming to the things that i didn't like about this book now honestly there is nothing about this book that i particularly didn't like but there were definitely some things that could have been done better for example while reading sometimes i felt that the author was giving us unnecessary information at times the story would have progressed even if the information wasn't given to us and the plot would have no changes to it whatsoever and if the author wanted to include this information at all costs it could have been conveyed in a more subtle form in a more subtle way that's what i feel the next thing i felt was some small elements of the writing style did not quite fit in the setting this is nothing major and most people wouldn't even notice this but i think i should mention it here for example the name of one of the main characters is paramjit and everyone calls her pam now we don't usually see people call paramjit pam in india maybe it could have been a name that people actually use in india and a couple of minor things in the same line also you might find it a bit difficult to follow all the names of the cities and locations mentioned in the book okay now that that's out of the way we come to the verdict so i think writing a book with amazing historical facts and accuracy and creating a story that perfectly fits history as well as science with no compromises whatsoever is a very difficult job and ashwin sanghi pulls it off excellently you even start to wonder whether the story that you just read is just a story or something that actually could have happened i think you should definitely read this book if you are a fan of thrillers i give this book a solid 8 out of 10 and that's it thank you all for watching and happy reading